Well, I, I joined the Institute as a research assistant for Barbara Ward, and I worked on her last two books. I mean, this was a truly unique person. Um, she's known for her brilliance, rightly so. What she's less known for is her um, sense of humor, her delightful company, her incredible erudition. And all this made her a wonderful person to work with. Also someone with incredible curiosity, despite being a world authority on issues, a curiosity, a desire to learn. I think you can say she was uh, certainly among the first and possibly the first to link the different aspects of sustainable development. She came firstly out of um, uh, a body of work on a fairer global world system and in the late 1940s she was writing about how the post World War II world must be a much fairer and a more just global system. Her time in the 1950s working in Africa um, brought her face to face with all the development realities. So that was a second part of her uh, uh, key concerns. And then in the late 60s and early 70s, incorporating the key issues that, were, um, that the environmentalists have brought to the fore. And to me, she's unique. She combined this knowledge of global systems working towards a just world, knowledge of development issues on the ground, and then knowledge of environment issues, both local and global. In, in the 1972 book she wrote with René Dubot, Only One Earth, you see the definition of sustainable development um, in the preface. This concern, as she said, that the meeting the needs of the present must be combined with ensuring the needs of future generations, which to me is the key element of sustainable development. You, you were stunned by her knowledge, but I don't know, she, she always treated you as an equal, even though I was a young and, 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 and very ignorant research assistant. And I suppose her, her joy of learning made it very easy um, to be her research assistant. And her sense of humor uh, made it very easy to enjoy being in her company. I got the job um, as, as a mistake. My, initially, she asked me simply to organize her library. Um, she was preparing to write a new book. She had received a lot of material for this new book. This was The, uh, the Home of Man that came out in 1976. But then her research assistant um, resigned to go and do a doctorate. And so she offered me, um, would you like, i like to stay. And so what had turned into a three month temporary job then became a permanent job. And um, you don't get, opportunities like this every day. I, I was thrilled to be a research assistant. When the book was finished, I was lent to the Canadian government to help organize the UN Conference on Human Settlements in 1976. Then she asked me to come back afterwards and, and to work with her on what proved to be her last book, Progress from, for a Small Planet. Well, Barbara Ward was invited by David Runnels um, to to come to head what was then termed the International Institute for Environmental Affairs. She agreed on condition that it changed its name to the International Institute for Environment and Development. And really, um, she provided this wonderful intellectual leadership and this amazing um, contacts with um, potential funders. And Dave Runnels built the institution and between them, that is how IIED came into being. Oh, that would take a, a long time. Well, bringing this incredible vision, bringing this body of, of, of work, bringing this incredible list of, of, um, of supporters, um, her address book read like a who's, who's who. Um, you remember she was close to the Kennedys, um, uh, advisor on foreign policy to John F. Kennedy. Um, she was very close to Lyndon Johnson, um, very close to Robert McNamara, the president of the World Bank, who, who transformed the World Bank into a development agency. Um, very close with many key um, British politicians, the progressive um, Labour politicians who were um, developing development assistance in a, in a much less colonial way. Um, in the 1950s and 60s, she got to know all the key 
um, African presidents. Uh, Nkrumah was a very good friend. She knew Nyerere, um, she knew Kenyatta, um, she knew Kaunda. Um, Indira Gandhi was a big fan of hers and they had quite a correspondence. No, she was very, very well connected. One of the great quotes in the late 60s, she said that um, our, our understanding of our physical unity as a planet is far ahead of our moral unity in our capacity to govern it. Um, another, another story, she was, she was once asked, um, Barbara, in light of all the difficulties and the environmental degradation and the poverty you write about, how can you have any hope? And she replied, it, it's our duty to hope. It's our duty to hope. Which I thought was a beautiful response. She'd be very proud of the commitment to environment and development, um, which then got renamed Sustainable Development. Um, she'd be very proud of the quality of the work that comes out of the Institute. Perhaps she would urge us to be a little more edgy and a little more cutting edge, um, going beyond our comfortable familiarity with our own sectors, our own body of knowledge, to do what she did to unite sectors, to unite bodies of knowledge for um, driving change. Um, one of her favourite quotes was from Lao Tzu, the, the Chinese um, philosopher from the 5th century BC. Um, Here are my three gifts, guard them well. My first is frugality, my second is compassion, my third is desire not to be foremost in all things under heaven. Um, she embodied those three um, virtues very well.